Hi, this is Karen Tumulty of the Washington Post, and here are my three takeaways from day three of the Republican National Convention here in Tampa, Florida. Takeaway number one, of course, was the acceptance speech of vice presidential nominee Paul Ryan. What is missing is leadership in the White House. The Wisconsin congressman is the first member of the post-baby boom generation to run on a presidential ticket. And that generational theme ran heavy in a speech that also talked about the urgency of reforming entitlements and getting rid of the budget deficit for future generations. Takeaway number two. For the first time in this convention, foreign policy took center stage alongside domestic economic issues. And the man who delivered that message was 2008 presidential nominee, Senator John McCain of Arizona. We can't afford to have the security of our nation and those who bravely defend it endangered. Who delivered a blistering indictment of President Obama's international policies. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice offered a more oblique criticism of the Obama foreign policy but she gave one of the most stirring speeches of the convention thus far. God bless this extraordinary country, this exceptional country. Takeaway number three. All of this has been building up to the main event. That will come on Thursday night when Mitt Romney formally accepts the presidential nomination. Delegates here are hoping that he will lay out his vision, not only for winning the presidency, but how he would govern if he were elected.